Oh, I wonder what happened there. So the last few classical games have been pretty, pretty eye-opening. It's all about the end game or the end process, whichever way you want to look at it. And I've been playing, I think, realistically without actually concentrating on the mantra too much, which is not the way to go. So I need to kick back into using the mantra, using the answer process um, as part of the game. Because the end game that I've been showing throughout the recent long play games, putting all this lovely work in, being advantageous with pieces, material, position, and then losing it at the end. One of them, there was a mouse slip, and that was quite disappointing because I was messing about with the arrows. Um, so I'm not going to use the arrows. I'm going to try and stay away from them. Because it was the pawn move up. I was meant to push an arrow up here like that, just demonstrating to myself. And then I actually moved it. And I, I was winning. I had material up and everything. So that was a bit disappointing because I spent a lot of time playing the, the game. It was a 45 minute, 10 second game. So I've got to learn to appreciate what we get because we get some really good positions and it's a shame to let it go towards the end of the game when you spend all that time working out how to grab extra pieces, how to grab good positions on the board and then just to let it slip right at the very end. So let's focus and enjoy the game. No arrows. So if the opponent's taking a while moving, we'll, we will pause. Oh, and just as I press pause, they played. So let's just grab. And let's grab here. Target in this pawn. I suppose his knight's gonna come to block. Or he may come and do a queen exchange. Also been playing in the Blitz Arenas, Super Blitz Arenas, really enjoyed them as well. So we're not doing too bad. We don't really like Blitz as we've mentioned, but I'm gonna keep my hand in in the Blitz Arenas. One starting in five minutes actually, so if this one finishes in half an hour, we'll jump into that one. So even in the blitz, still making a few errors and stuff, but we've not been doing too bad. You know, we've not been getting wiped out of the water. So I'm gonna bring the bishop out here, targeting yet again. Could have taken the pawn here. I think that's a missed opportunity by myself, actually moving too fast. So could kick myself really, because that would have been a nice one. Although his queen could just come here, but still we would have got a pawn up now that we're not going to get that anymore because they're going to realize that we are targeting this area so the knight's going to develop so that's a missed opportunity in the game so early on and we've mentioned that as well so the queen's def the queen is attacking here so we can still take the pawn then attacking the knight rook and we can obviously picture the queen coming here so we can take the queen or we can just bring the queen back if we wanted to. So that's a little bit lucky really. But it's only a pawn up. But that only a pawn up does count in the end. Oh, I can't take the bishop because I've got a pin. So he's got a two on one on the pawn. So it looks like he's going to be disheveling my king. He's going to be getting a bishop as well. Hmm, I'm going to take the rook anyway, just in the meantime, just want to see how he does it. So it's going to be a... Whoa, he's not taken. Uh, does my queen get trapped or something? Let's castle. It's a very strange play going on here. I feel like I'm getting set up, but... Them's the apples. Bishop takes no, he's coming for my queen. So is my queen trapped? I can, I can come here, there, 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 there. Uh, just 
bring the queen here could have brought it there mind you it's got the knight protecting so there's no point there suppose this pawn is going to attack the queen it's going to harass me So again, this for me, my mental process at the minute is really, if there's an advantage, we've got a plus one. We're actually plus eight now because we've got the rook as well. It's not losing that advantage. So we could take here, but his knight then takes, he's on our queen, but then his queen will take our queen. Our queen doesn't have any support. lots of tricks going on move the queen out of the way or take this pawn here to pressure the queen king but then he gets this pawn doesn't he I think it's probably better just bringing this here or actually attacking the queen but then the queen drops here don't want any of that maybe bring the pawn up to protect the pawn yep simple is as simple does so he's gonna have to move the bishop does he come here maybe so he's got his pieces around our king area so that they've got the right idea but are they in the right position my pieces are away from my king so my king is home alone which is pretty dangerous So I've got to think what I need to do to prevent my the opponent. Yeah, he's just coming in, but um, gets his knight here. Then we can push the pawn up. Yeah, so he gets his knight there, and then push the pawn up. Does his, oh, does his queen just come and sit here? Ooh. Oh, it does. So we're going to have to move this. Oh, we can't. Oh, I move too fast. Oh, drastic. Move too fast. This queen's just coming here. We're not going to be fast enough to get away. They have to move the rook up to attack to give space for the king oh shabby gonna have to do that give space here don't think there's any other checks is there drops down he comes for the bishop but can always look to exchange off seeing as we're material up there's no point dancing to oh you're joking me let's go here I shouldn't panic really should I it's only got two pieces that aren't in the ideal positions but this is the type of stuff that's been happening in the games that I've been playing the long game long play games I'm up material but then suddenly it disappears fingers crossed I am focused on looking at protecting my area rather than blasting away trying to go for their king I'm trying to make sure my king is safe but it is quite scary when you're seeing this sort of stuff he's, he's off again just taking this I don't really see why not Ah, right, okay, we can breathe a little bit now. And just bring this here. And it's on my rook, but I suppose we can bring this bishop here. Don't think that's doing much, is it? So I'm not going to go crazy, I'm not going to take anything off the board make sure we're 
protected so the queen can't get any uh, repetitives as best possible. Okay, so he's attacking, but all these he'll lose loads of pieces. Take this here. If we had support, we'd be able to come. Oh, I'm not doing arrows, behave. Attacking the bishop. Really want to go here, but we can go there. Hey, could come here, but he's just going to push the pawn down. Is there nothing else that I can do? Could move the bishop and then protect him with the rook. So I could attack the rook, protect him with the rook here. Let's see if this knight can get into the action. It's taken. I'm, I'm not missing something, am I? No. Don't want any repetitives. Knight's covered here. Stuck in the rook and just put a check on with the support from the bishop. Bishop's under attack from the queen. Move the bishop. Yep. It feels even more tense because he's only got one piece and I've got all these pieces that I'm looking to try and do something with. Just bring the rook back, keep it safe on a dark square or, yeah, don't block the bishop. Okay. Probably could expect the opponent to resign really, but if they're playing on, we have to play safe. Oh, and they've resigned. Okay, so that was an interesting development, again, showing the point of the, the gravity of the king's side attack, which is what this opponent did. Oh, sorry about the brightness there. Woohoo. Okay, lots of notifications. Okay, so we opened up. Let's get this bar on. Let's see what the scores on the doors are. Okay, so we pushed, so that's all right. Captured, captured. Yeah, so they didn't seem to have a good position. Yeah, I missed, well, I took it at that point, but I should have took it earlier, I think. Let's just see what it says. Yeah, I should have taken it early. Missed opportunity. But I suppose we got lucky because the opponent didn't take. Um, bringing the queen back, but uh, we castled. Out and white is out and out winning at the minute. But I'm looking at this queen side attack. Oh, bishop taking the knight. Come on. Ah. I was so focused on this pawn here, wasn't I? knew that was a problem and we still allowed it to happen it's these small details that I'm trying to iron out bishop taking the knight again ah oh, that's a big one yeah oh a pawn taking the knight look at that that's right in front of my face oh my dears how can I not see that <laughs> see oh look 
look and I'm there fretting about all of this and look at what I had here a little pawn this type of stuff I really need to work on I think the opponents are better than what they are and this is what's causing me to make certain moves because I'm believing that yes they can do X, Y and Z but I'm not looking at what I can do to circumvent what is actually right in front of my face I'm circumventing my calculation of what I expect to happen so then I'm doing that I'm not looking at what has actually happened and then just whipping stuff off the board right that's a very good lesson very good lesson looks like the arena started so we'll jump into the three minute and oh nice nice game 